Hello, we are back and we are doing another day of our Mary Mantle Consecration. And we're getting a star every day that we do this. And actually today I am wearing her. I am wearing Mary. I love I got it. Giant earrings. <laughs> I love it. Anyway, um, today's star number 33, there are 46 stars on her mantle. And uh, star 33 is the star of mortification. Sometimes we forget that suffering is for a reason. Mm -hmm. So whenever you're ready, Han. Okay. Mortification. Lord Jesus, fashion me into your whoops, likeness. Mold me into being who, like St. Paul says, fills up in flesh what is lacking in afflictions of Christ on behalf of his body, which is the church. 1 Corinthians 24. Though your sacrifice lacks nothing in its total gift, the church body must undergo redemptive suffering oh that's an article i have right up here fulfill to fulfill your work on earth so inspire me to lavish you with gifts intentional acts of self-denial and courage all wrapped up in small sufferings help me to harness my anger and hold my tongue when I am tempted to chastise, to praise, when you and I feel crushed by the weight of the cross, and to hand you my hurt from unjust words and unfavorable opinions. Give me the strength to deny myself a savory morsel of food or refreshing drink to reach out to those who are materially or spiritually poor and to finally act on what I have avoided but know I must do motivate me Lord to intercede for those who feel no need for prayer to love those whose hearts have frozen and to have hope for those whose aspirations have been dashed on jagged rocks through my gifts of self-mortification may i harness the unruly and unforeseen currents of destruction that are sweeping through the world and the church may i help you replant your peaceful garden the beautiful rose bushes with the most piercing thorns are supplied well enough by you lord but I will never cease to concern myself with the little flowers, those that collect the dew and reflect the glory of the sun. Wow. How beautiful is that? Yeah. And in case, that. you know, in case you guys don't know what mortification means, I looked it up and it says a great embarrassment and shame mm -hmm. or subduing or the action of subduing one's bodily desires. Mm -hmm. And then it says in the Catholic Encyclopedia, mortification, the deliberate restraint that one places on natural impulses in order to make them increasingly subject to sanctification through obedience to reason illuminated by faith. Jesus Christ mm -hmm. required such renunciation of anyone who wished to come after him that's in luke 9 29 so i guess um that's i'll put those movie. links in that i guess that's an example but um, send me those links jeanette so i can put them in it took me a long i think i texted it to you it took me a while to understand what mortification was it's kind mm -hmm. of like it's kind of like a word that not too many people want to um really do or understand and people in other religions really have a hard time understanding it because they don't believe in that we have to suffer mm -hmm. you know they don't believe they that don't. it's they don't. i mean it's part of carrying your cross if you think about it it's not all pretty 
you know, being Christian, yeah. you know, we're going to be persecuted. We're, you know, and all that is as we're getting persecuted, as we're suffering, if we grab our suffering and we don't hate it, but we pray through it, we will be able to give it for something better. You can say, okay, this ache I have in my arthritis or whatever, my knee or whatever, mm -hmm. um, Lord, it's okay. Thank you for, because I'm alive and I'm going to give this up to you. I'm going to give this to those souls in purgatory, this pain, you know, I'm uniting it with yours, you know, as when we suffer as mothers, we were united with Mary's pain. You know, we are saints. We are supposed to be saints and our, mm -hmm. our, our superpower is carrying the cross. Like Jesus, that's, right. Right. that's our superpower. That's here. right. We need to accept that and just pray through so it. So this article here is um, on redemptive suffering and fasting. As you grow in your abilities of self-mastery, it's important not to fall into the sin of pride and think you're doing it by your own brute strength. When I was having a problem with my stomach, I asked God to help me. You know, I need your help here. And he did. You know, it's, it's, we can't, we have to know what we're doing uh, is by God's grace. Like God's grace helps me to fast. Um, we must acknowledge that this cannot be done, but by the grace of God and his helping hand, as we work to squash those temptations, if we rely on ourselves, we can't do it. It's only if we rely on him. Temptations come from the evil one. And you know, that helps me to say, well, I'm not giving in. I am not letting Satan get a foothold in this. So it's like, for me, that helps me to, to say, nope, not happening. Um, <clears throat> temptations come from the evil one and we are no match for him. We have to give in because uh, we can't do it. We He's stronger than us. He's smarter than us. But if we say, God, I need you to help me. He can always win against Satan. So it says we should remain humble and stay close to God in prayer through the practice of fasting. In addition to standard fasting from food, there are other ways we can make sacrifices that make us uncomfortable. It's not just food. You could fast from spending. You could fast from whatever it is that you do too much of and you know is not a good thing. Um, uh, think out, wait, what's it say? Um, that make us uncomfortable and hence serve as a means of both redemptive suffering and self-mastery. Those are important in being Christian and people don't understand that, but I'm telling you, those are the keys. Think and you're else. talking about fasting and I'm here eating. I'm sorry, guys, but I took an no, antibiotic. No, she's on a medication. And yeah. I have to eat with yeah. that. So that's yeah. reason. No, it's sorry. okay, you know. <laughs> Think outside the box. You can choose not to take medication if you have a headache. Never mind. You have to take that medicine. It's she, no, she has it's something an antibiotic different. for an infection. Yeah. It's nothing bad, guys. It's just something no. we all get. But no, you but you have to. On an antibiotic, you have to. Perhaps you could change your thermostat by a couple of degrees in either direction or give up your favorite television show. You can fast from social media. I K-dramas. <laughs> yeah, but facebook or you know whatever those things or the news that's hard for someone like me and i've done it like after this trump i was like i i am being very careful what i'm allowing the news because i get angry and i am not letting the devil get me angry so to use that time to praise god so instead pray think of where you struggle with seeking comfort and relief and fi or find yourself dependent on certain things and try to detach yourself from them. Remember we had detachment? It is even, even just a little bit. In doing so, you will reap great fruit as you think less about satisfactions you receive from the world and more the satisfaction you will receive eternally in heaven while cooperating to get yourself there. Like Jeanette, you could... Um, instead of, uh, saying I can't have any K dramas, say, okay, I'm going to watch two each day and that's it. And then fast from the rest and eventually you get down to one. And that way it's a little treat. 
after you're done your things, you sit down and you you say to yourself, one, and the TV goes off. And so we don't have to be that extreme. Or if you can't do one, you could say three. You know what I'm saying? And no matter yeah. what it is, no matter what it is, just start shrinking it a little. Because fasting can't always be like, boom, and you're done. Sometimes it, it takes you a little bit of time. Now, an alcoholic can't do that. They can't have a little bit of beer. They're not capable. It's an addiction. If you are not capable of it, that means it's an addiction and you can, you should go cold turkey. But if you can shrink it, it means that you can handle that. You know, alcoholics can't handle that. They have to not drink at all. They can't say, oh, I could just have beer and wine. Mm-mm doesn't work well yeah because i guess you have one drink and then your your mindset changes because of the actual alcohol alcohol. Mm -hmm. so of course you can't but addiction addiction on on um food is the same way it's not just chemical it is pleasure centers in the brain so you could be just as bad like that about food trust me i know (laughs) i know about food addiction me too me yeah too. so and most of us do in our country we are food addicted it's terrible but we have to fight it and um we can't give in we can't just say oh i'm just like that no 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 we need this mortification and we can't do it alone and the problem is is we always think i'm gonna have willpower but it's not about that. It's about asking yeah. God to help us and believing that he can and will. If you don't believe you can do it, you can't. But if you say God is holding my hand and he's going to help me through it and I'm going to do it little step at a time. People yeah. don't have to do cold turkey stuff because then you feel like you're being uh, abusive to yourself. And that's not that that that's not good so just yeah. fast a little bit at a time and you'll find it gets easier as time goes on when i first started fasting i would eat as many apples as i wanted and and drink water and i imagined that the water was being absorbed by the apples and filling my stomach and that helped me and eventually i got down to just um water fasting which took a while and i could only do it one day and then i could do it a little longer so believe me you can do this you can do this and everybody can no matter what it is if it's our favorite tv show if it's our social media if it's whatever it is that you find yourself addicted to because it's the pleasure brain it's the pleasure um uh what is it the pleasure the pleasure hooks in our brain and um and it could be anything it doesn't always and you know also a very old tradition a very old tradition which i don't necessarily think should have ever happened but i really don't think it should have ever happened but like padre peel sometimes and other saints from the old old traditions they would actually um hurt themselves they would like like hit their backs and stuff. And I'm like, what is that? That That is bad. Yes, that is really bad. I don't believe in that thing. Times have changed, but that, you know, to them, to them at that, at at those times, that was also a really bad form, but it was still a form of mortification. Oh, I like that. I love your shirt. It says the original selfie. Oh, that's perfect. I love that. I know, because it came a long way before we did selfies. My, my, uh, you gotta send me the link. I want that shirt. Um, I think I sent it to you before, didn't I? And it, and they were out of them or whatever. I'll look for yeah, it. I, yeah, I think they were out of them. That's why I didn't yeah. get it. Yeah. And, um, but, so cute. Anyway. Yeah. The original selfie. I love it. So, cause it, cause it is the original selfie, you know? Yeah. And these earrings guys are too heavy, but I bought a bunch. I wanted to give it to my friends. But what I'm going to do is I'm going oh, to make them. Oh, I love them. I want one. It's beautiful. Look, look at the back. It's like really shiny. I want one for my purse. Yes. Yeah, so I'm going to make them into little purse charms. You know, you can yes. hang 
on the side of your purse or your uh, book that you bring to Bible studies, you know, like a little, like a little hook. I'm going to go today to Joanne's and see if I can find the little hooks. And, and I sent you those links. Cause I was like, I wouldn't wear them, but she yeah. would. <laughs> I, I didn't look at the size. I and then I just went ahead and got, actually guys, I'm telling you I'm Spanish. So this is perfect for me, the size, but they're heavy. They're heavy for your ear. So tell them what so, you're going to do with the fabric. Tell them what you're going to do with the fabric. Oh, so I was thinking I have some fa Mary fabric that I got on Spoon Flower. I think it is. I love Spoon Flower. They have beautiful Mary designs and they also have them Spoon actually Flower? on Amazon. Yeah, SpoonFlower.com. It's a mm -hmm. fabric store you get online. Oh. They were a little costly, guys, but it's worth it. The materials are unbelievably good quality. And, and she sews, also, so she yeah, knows. I sew. I I do all kinds of sewing projects. I'm making a quilt now, but um, actually that's what I'm working on. I'm cutting little tiny because I'm doing paper piecing. Ooh. And uh, yeah, let me show you real quick. Huh. I'm, I'm I working on the Bible, but I have to come up and sew and work on mine up there. Yeah, see you, you you put them on a little cardboard like this, right? And then. In order to do that, you've got to like put them with little clips and then you just sew them on the other side and then you pull the cardboard off and it stays soft. But before you pull the cardboard off, you want to put them together. Now, these do not really match, but I'm just showing you. And then you make a square. You sew them by hand and you make like a square of all these little tiny pieces. And it's called paper piecing and you do it by hand. And I do it while I watch my K-dramas. <laughs> anyway well, well we're gonna have you cutting down to three or four a day okay. <laughs> and then eventually you'll be able to uh oh but i forgot to tell you guys what, what, what i was doing sorry i got sidetracked so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna find the fabric that i have because it is like right. um it's big mary's but not that big i think they're a little smaller which is fine and i'm going to cut yeah. them out and i'm going to glue um, I'm going to find some vinyl. I'm going to cut out the vinyl, same shape, and I'm going to glue them front and back on the yeah. vinyl, and I'm going to put a hole in the top. And I'm going to get a little a little earring thing that I have a lot of because I do make jewelry, guys, and I make rosaries too. And then I'll just do that. And, and then I'll you have could, light. It'll be you, light. You could get some um, fabric uh, paint that is like shiny or or those, those markers oh, that are shiny. Right. And then do the back like that. No, no, no. I'm saying do the edges like that edge. No, I like like the back of being like a um oh a, of like a um uh a leather vinyl. So on the front, then you could use the marker on the edges because the edges gold look really pretty. Yeah. But and I then have the a back marker. is like a very shiny blue. I have a marker from, um, oh, a shiny blue. I have a marker from um, Amazon that looks exactly like that shiny, like it looks like it's chrome and you can do it gold or you could do it silver, whatever. But um, anyway, I'll, I'll send you the link on that marker, Jeanette. So um, yeah. So mortification, guys, redemp it is redemptive suffering that we do. Are you you're done, Jeanette? Yes, uh, I'm sorry. It's my mom. She needed me for something. Okay, I'll send you the link on that marker thing that I'm talking about. So mortification, guys, we have to uh to work on it and recognize it's part of our faith because um we have to overcome our bodies, um, our flesh. That's yeah. the whole point. And so, um, no, we don't want to be abusive, but we can, we don't oh, have yeah. to go cold Turkey on things. Yeah. You know, we can just, so just remember that and understand. And don't forget your rosary guys today. It's also but, part of it, but understand that fasting and prayer really do go together. I'm going to find a good article about it and understand that it really does bring you closer to God. It, I don't know why, but it, that's the way it works. And I'm going to say, I'm going to put an article in here. I need it. to do that. I have not fasted yet, guys. I have to admit, I have not, I have not done it the proper way. Of course, the fasting for me, it is not hard for me because I don't eat meat. <laughs> I'm a vegetarian, 
But, um, and I don't really eat a lot of meals a day unless I have to because of my like antibiotics or whatever. And so um, I just try, I do the intermediate fasting. So I eat between um, like 10 and six. I don't eat. Okay. After well, how six, about I don't eat after 10? How Ever about happen. if you do um, four to six to start? Four to six? Yep. Only oh, four yeah, four I can probably six. do that. I can probably so, do that. Yeah, that's the way yeah. to do it okay. is slowly, you know, slowly. I mean, if you okay. can't start four, you could start 12 to six and then um, two to six and then four to six. So if you have to do it like that, it's 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 slowly working it. And, and not getting yourself to where you're frustrated and you give up. And when you do it, you pray for God to help you. I prayed for God to help me with my appetite. And he did. He did. Did you ever try the, um, you we <laughs> went to Whole Foods and we got the, um, all of Yes. I didn't, I didn't start that either. I have I'm it. I bought you, it. It'll take your appetite. I have the bottle. I haven't started it. It'll take your appetite away. Yeah. No, it's not an appetite's not a problem really. It's not that I'm hungry and I gotta eat. It's just the stupid habit that I have. You know, it's like, you know, I just that's have that stupid us. habit. So, that's most um, of us. We all are like that, Jeanette. You're no different than than the rest okay. of us. We all like that. <laughs> okay. We have to work on it. That's all. Just you two guys, time. you work on it and you keep us posted. If you have any tips, put them on the comments. We're, yeah, keep we love, trying. We and, love tips. Yeah, just keep trying and never say, well, I couldn't do it and I gave up. You just say, I'm getting back up on that horse tomorrow. My mother always told me that. Don't oh, give up. Get back on case, the horse tomorrow. In case you guys want these earrings or these gigantic charms, Timu. Timu. <laughs> Only what? They were only like a dollar fifty or something like that. It's yes. crazy. Team it's crazy. Amazing. And they're such good quality. It's just that they're heavy. That's the only problem. And you only have, have to pay um like you know how Amazon you have to have twenty five uh dollars shipping. Oh, yeah. You only have to have ten dollars shipping. shipping with Timu. Yeah. So sign up on Timu because oh, you'll sure save so quick. much money. Every new thing you see that's new, like uh, they say, okay, this <laughs> wipe does this or that. You put it in there, and they sit most of the time. These are my favorite. The hen with the pink boots. That's because these I'm are, her friend. These are super, super light, though, guys. Okay, so these are worth it, definitely. I'm okay, sure, I'm sure many of them are not going to be wearing those, Jeanette. You're a unique, you're a unique person. I'm just a little out there, guys. I'm an artist. What do you want? You're an artist. Exactly. You're an artist. <laughs> Bye, guys. Love you. Bye, you guys. Have a great day and work Don't on your, your rosaries. Do Bye. your rosary and work on your mortification. I'm going to put some articles in. So look. Bye. Bye.